Green Saints Prophet Donna Brian Seven of the Lower Dawn's Heart Belt Corner here. I'm still in my exercise clothes. I was in the gym at about eleven thirty and uh Holy Spirit spoke something to me that I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. It's been a busy uh morning already. Um as soon as I got back, um I was trying to write down what God was saying to me and then um Donna was crying. She was crying. Uh, Daniel had to calm her down because she was getting these um, calls scamming her from the IRS asking her for money so we had to deal with that and then um, my husband's uh, mother came over with his aunt and so we were visiting with, with them as well And um, but I feel the Holy Spirit wants me to share this word with you and um, that's what I'm going to do because um, you know he holds us servants of the Lord accountable if we don't do what He's asking us to do. Let's pray and invite the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here to say what you're wanting me to say. I yield myself to you and allow you to speak through me slowly and clearly, Lord. We just welcome you here, precious Holy Spirit. We ask you to have your way. I ask I only speak words that you would have me say, Father, that, that your words are life, Lord. Let these words bring life to your people, touching your people, I pray. Be anointed, Lord, and you receive all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Let's make sure we are online here. We're not worshiping today. Um, I, actually, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing a video. Uh, I truly wasn't. Um, but, but, you know, hey, we're to be ready in season, out of season. If God wants to say something, we have got to be ready. Um, so I put up that video I want you to take a look at. Um, I felt this morning something is telling me that that solar eclipse that's coming on August 21st. And we're getting ready at what is that a month away? Today is the 21st. So we got a month, okay? Something's telling me that that solar eclipse, the solar eclipse that is coming August 21st, it's to hit our planet, will bring many changes to us that we in America have never seen. I truly believe that someone was telling me that today. And I put up a, a video by Lord Bueller. Take a look at that video. This could be the start, I feel, of the, the shaking when we were already seeing it with these earthquakes are getting bigger. All right. And we're going to admit we're going to look at them. But this could be the beginning of the huge shaking. I really believe, I'm telling you, Saints, it is coming. The ring of fire with these earthquakes. We need to all just watch, pray, and keep our eyes open. God is in control. He will protect all of us and keep us safe. And He will, saints. God promised you. He knew all this was going to happen. We just need to trust the Lord that He's in control. You know, I've told you this before and I'm going to say it again. You know, I saw myself, um, I've seen this before, I saw myself um, speaking and reading poetry of salvation because I told you a lot of times now when I write poems I put salvation in and I see myself outside and um, speaking and a bodyguard's helping me up on a platform now I don't know what all that's about but I've seen that the Holy Spirit has showed me that now I want to read you a little bit about a total solar eclipse it's going to occur on Monday August 21st 2017 the event has been described as a great American eclipse as it will be visible in totality only within a band across the entire contiguous United States. The previous time a solar eclipse was visible across the entire contiguous United States was during the June 18, 1918 eclipse. That's a long time ago. All right, it says the solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and the Sun, thereby totally or partially obscuring the image of the Sun for a viewer on Earth. A total solar eclipse occurs when the Moon's apparent diameter is larger than the Sun's, blocking all direct sunlight, turning day into darkness. Total reality occurs in a narrow path across Earth's surface with the partial solar eclipse visible over a surrounding region thousands of kilometers wide and um I put up these two links you can go take a look at it and this is um, Eclipse 2017 NASA and I, it'll tell you the times and places where you can see this eclipse. You're not to look at it though you have to have special eyeglasses 
it was telling you to wear them. Now, could this be the sign um, of Joel 2, 30-31? I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth. Blood and fires and bellows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So this is what's getting ready to take place. We need to watch and just pray and seek the Lord because I'm telling you, we are moving closer to seeing a shaking that's about to take place. Remember, I was just talking to you yesterday about how God wants you and I to be patient and that we never have enough patience and that, that he was showing me that he took, you know, made the earth in six days and rested on the seventh. So to me, it was, he's been, was over about 6,000 years, you know, so God takes his time. God is in no hurry. So I'm starting to understand that, you know, hey, we may have to wait. I don't keep waiting. Uh, you know, I will really truly believe before the return of Christ, we're going to be watching, waiting. And pray. Remember, uh, Jesus said, "Watch and pray that your word that to escape all that's getting ready to take place. What's going to happen on this earth? So we need to uh, be vigilant and be aware. Uh, the times are changing, and we're going to talk about that. And then we can't just do what we want to do. Let's look at these earthquakes here and see what's happening here. All right. I mean, every few minutes we're seeing things are happening." All right, 3.9 in Chile, we just had, um, the time it takes a minute to come up. Tennessee had a 2.9, a 5.0 in Greece. Now, um, they've had some, I think there was 100 injured was the last night, and then two people had died. A 2.8 in California, 1.4 in California. There are small swarms still going on in California, Nevada. 4.9 in Peru. 1.9 California, 1.2 in California, Oklahoma had a 2.9. There are two of them. The times aren't on here. Here they go. They are now. Um, the, those ones in Oklahoma were five and six hours ago. The one in, in Chile was about half an hour ago. And Greece was over an hour ago, 5.0. Now, um, there was one in Nevada, 2.6, six hours ago. Japan had one at 4.3, that was six hours ago, and 4.5 again in Greece seven hours ago. A 4.8 in Tonga nine hours ago, and 2.3 in Washington. New Guinea had a 5.2 nine hours ago, and a 5.5 in Vanuatu, and then, um, no, that was a 5.6. No, they had two, a 5.5 and a 5.6. Um, somewhere in Quran had a 4.3, 4.7 Iran 10 hours ago, 5.0 in Indonesia, Sumatra had a 5.3 11 hours ago, the one in Indonesia was 11 hours ago. There are two 2.4s 11 hours ago in California, a 4.6 in Fiji 11 hours ago, 4.4 in Mexico 11 hours ago. 2.9 in California, 12 hours ago, Mammoth Lakes, and a 2.8, 3.7 in Alaska, 13 hours ago, 4.2 in Turkey, I think they had a tsunami over there as well, um, California had a 1.4, 13 hours ago, Russia had a 1.6, 13 hours ago, and a 4.2 in Panama, 15 hours ago, and I've given you that link that you can take a look at, um, we're seeing earthquakes that are taking place every few minutes so that way you can see what what is going on but um this word I'm gonna share with you you know you know I feel I have to do what God's telling me to do whether or not it happens right this minute or not you know and you're you I'm just gonna read it to you because I write down everything God was saying to me all right Okay, I've read this to you before. Right? Um, he shows prophets in advance what is going to happen. Amos 3, 7, 8. When the Lord God decides to do something, he will first tell his servants of prophets. When a lion roars, people are frightened. When the Lord God speaks, a prophet must prophesy. God uses prophetic service to warn the people in advance what is coming. 
It says in 2 Peter 3, 8, 9, but do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, okay? So, it, you know, I'm going to share something with you, whether it comes today, tomorrow, the next day, we haven't even had one day yet, okay? It has to be over a thousand years. And a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise. As some understand slowness, instead, He is patient with you with you not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. So I told what I'm gonna to say to you now I don't know God's timing, okay? I want you to pray about it. See what the Holy Spirit is telling you. I'm sharing a word with you of what I heard God say to me. I you know I'm I'm just gonna share it with you because if I don't share it, he's gonna hold me accountable. And I'm gonna share with you what what the Lord said to me, okay? Okay? And I was walking on the treadmill in the gym. See, I was in the gym. I wasn't at my computer. I wasn't planning on saying anything. I was just walking on the treadmill, you know, praising the Lord. And at 11.30 a.m., this is the first time I actually get, got to speak to you because I was telling you I've been busy with Donna and I had a, my mother-in-law was sober. When I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, California is about to go up in flames. I heard him say that now. Hey, I'm just sharing with you what I heard. Now you need to pray about this because this is what I heard. The state of California is about to go up in flames. That's what I heard the Lord say. He says, I said to God, that's what I said to God. I mean, I'm just being honest with you, okay? I'm on this treadmill. I said to God, I'm not going to leave the gym and go tell the people. They'll think I'm crazy. That's why I said to the Lord. He says to me, if you do not tell them, who will? I kept walking on the treadmill. I didn't leave. I kept walking on the treadmill. And I heard God say with a stern voice. This time he got a little sterner. He said, do what I tell you to do. That's what he said to me. I'm like, wow. You know, I, I got off the treadmill, and I was having a conversation with God on my way out. I was just talking to the Lord, all right? And I said, why, God? Because I don't even know if you're speaking to me. And now, I, I'm being honest with you. I'm truly trying to hear the voice of the Lord, okay? So when the Holy Spirit says something to me, I don't mess around. I'm just now I'm just saying whatever he's saying to me because I don't know. And that's why I said you pray about it. You ask the Holy Spirit. You know, because if I don't, he's gonna hold me come. And I'm gonna tell you more of what he said to me. Okay. I said because I said to you, why God? Because I don't even know if you're speaking to me. You wanna know what he said then? He says, I will hold you accountable. And I said, me, Lord, you know, because I was like, you're going to hold me accountable. Why, Lord, you know? And this is what he said. He dropped the scripture in my spirit. James 3, 1. Be not many of you teachers, my brethren, knowing that we shall receive heavier judgment. Okay? The more you know, the more you're going to be held accountable to God. You cannot lie to the Lord either. See, you know, we think by us not preaching the word that we're fooling someone. No, we're not fooling nothing. No one. Because God knows. He knows your heart. He knows my heart. You know. So I could just ignore it and say, well, well God didn't say that. You know, I'm not going to say nothing. But if I don't tell the people, he's going to hold me accountable. So, you know, I don't care if people call me a false prophet, which they've done that before. They say things. That's okay, because God knows my heart. I'm just doing what I sense in my spirit. And that that if I don't do it, he's and people end up dying, you know, they're, they're going to you know, say, why? No one told me. So I'm making this known. I think he, the Holy Spirit is trying to to get me to learn to, to listen to him when he's talking to me and to obey the Lord, to speak. I mean, this is new for me. So uh, pray for me, saints. Pray for me that I hear God clearly and that I will be obedient no matter what to speak his word. Whether, no matter what, because, you know, we're talking about lives at stake. And so I want to read the scripture to you, and I've read it before. Ezekiel three sixteen through 20. 
Ezekiel was a watchman. A prophetic sermon is called to warn the people of what is coming. Now it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore hear a word from my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Yet if you warn the wicked, and he does not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. 20. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness, and commits iniquity, and I lay, and I lay a stumbling block for him. He shall die because you did not give him warning. He shall die in the sin, and his righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered. But his blood will require your hand. God showed me the California wildfires spreading. He showed me that, and it started this morning because he had showed me um, that they've been having more fires. Okay. And I heard the Holy Spirit say to me that the state of the, mer the state of the mercy, that th that's what you're showing me. I didn't know this, but the state of emergency, they have a call a state of mercy in California. Now, they haven't had no big earthquake or anything major, but this is what he said to me. He said, I saw those, uh, uh, he showed me the California wildfires were spreading. And I heard him say to me that the state of mercy that they're having right now is nothing compared to what they're going to have, a major state emergency. God was showing me this because, uh, you know, I, he gave me the word. I think it was on the 13th. You can go look at that video. I placed it on him. And I also remember seeing fire trucks and that was it. You know, I didn't really go into uh, waiting on the Lord when, he, when when I heard him. I just came back to the house and that's when Donna was crying and all things started happening, distractions and that. But I, uh, that's when I went in my room alone. Um, I asked the Lord, where are the people to go? I said that to the Lord. I heard the Holy Spirit saying to me, they need to seek him and he will show them. That's what I heard him say. That is why I've stressed it's very important, saints, that we pray and seek God in these last days where we're to be, not just go here or there without him telling us to. And that's because we can wind up in harm's way. There will be major disasters everywhere. And I believe that. I believe we're going to see things everywhere, even on the East Coast, in the middle of the country. I really truly believe we need to pray and ask the Lord where we're to be. You and I need to be praying and seeking the Lord. The Lord will keep you and me safe. And then he gave me the scripture, um, Psalm 121, God, the help of those who seek him. Um, Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved, it says. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord should preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. So God will keep you and I say, yes, we're going to go through things, saints. I've told you that before. It's going to be like a, a woman in childbirth and the pains are going to increase up until the return of Christ. But we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to fear. God is in control. God will keep us safe. But it's important that we listen to the Lord, that we obey Him, that we follow Him, and not just be doing whatever we feel like doing it. And then I said this down here, you and I are living in exciting times right before the return of Christ. We don't need to be afraid, but we do need to walk closely with the Lord. You and I need to be praying and seeking the Lord continually. And then I put on there, go look at this, the confirmation I just gave, a prophetic word for California. The earthquake has not hit yet, but it's coming. And you can go listen to that, watch that video from another channel, and then listen to the word that I gave about a state of emergency on um, the 13th of this month. Um, let me read you this poem. A big shaking is coming. God is about to shake the heavens and earth. 
I've read this before, whatever is not of him will not stand. He is getting ready to purify us by his mighty hand. Keep your feet planted on the solid rock. Do not listen to people when they laugh and mock. They refuse to listen and ignore the warning signs. But we are Christ's ambassadors here to bring God's word. Whether they choose to listen and allow us to be heard. Do not stop telling others what is to come. Have boldness and determination touching some. There will be others that will persecute you, but that day will soon be here. When Jesus Christ, our master, will appear. Every eye will see him in the sky. Their hearts will be humbled and begin to cry. Don't be like those who died in the flood. They thought it was a game. God washed them away. They died in shame. There is still time for you. Jesus Christ is God's begotten Son. Give your heart to Him, the Holy One. With Him we have eternal life. No more pain, sorrow, or strife. And this is the scripture, Hebrews 12, 26-29. At that time His voice shook the earth, but now He's promised once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken. That is created things so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Now, I want you to know, you know, I share these words with you because this is what God is placing on my heart. You know, I know others have said to me, why don't you just share something? Is all you speak is disaster, doom, and gloom? No, I speak what the Holy Spirit is telling me to say. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to get on here and just say whatever I feel like saying just so you can give money into our ministry. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to obey the Lord because if not, I'm going to have to answer. So it's important that we do what, what the Lord is asking us to do in these last days. You know, God knows something is coming and we need to be ready. We need to pray uh, for our nation, pray for our president. You know, we just need to, to get ready. You know, if something I'm saying is touching your heart and you agree with what, what God is sharing with me and you feel led to help us in this ministry, you can send us a gift and you can send it to Dawn's Heartfelt Corner, P.O. Box 161273, Altamont Springs, Florida 32716. Or you can give a gift at www.dawnsheartfeltcorner.org. This is not the end, saints. I know people have told you we're going home. No, we're not going home. I do know that God is getting ready to raise up our ministry and Jesus gets the glory. Now, he's got plans for us. You know, we're waiting on the Lord. You know, the the times are changing. I'm going to tell you right now, we're getting ready to see a new millennium. Things are about to change. I mean, we're going to see a shift here. I really believe it's any time now. We don't need to panic or get worried. God is in control. God knew all this was going to happen. It's in the Bible. He talked about it. You know, we... We, we can't put our trust in this world. This world is passing away. Maybe you're listening to me and you don't know Christ. You've never given him your heart and life. Now it's time, not later. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know. We're here one minute and we're gone the next. Are you prepared to stand before the Lord? Have you given your heart and life to Christ? If you were to die this very minute, are you ready to stand before Christ? Because we're all going to answer to God. He's going to say, what did you do? You know, it says in the Bible uh, that we're all going to stand before the Lord on Judgment Day. And we're going to give an account of what we've done in this body of ours, whether it's been good or bad. Maybe you haven't been doing what you're called to do. Maybe you haven't been walking with God. Or maybe you're like a prodigal son or a prodigal daughter. You've walked away. God is saying, come back. Come back. He loves you. It doesn't matter what you've done. We've all made mistakes. Now is the time. Now is the time to get your heart and life right with God. Right where you're at. If you have never committed your heart and life to Christ, do it now. Do it now. He loves you. Bow your head with me and pray this prayer. And just if you have committed your heart and life, just go to God saying, God, forgive me. Put me back on track. I want to follow you. He knows your heart. He hears your prayer. But if you never ask Jesus Christ in your heart and life, do it now. Bow your head with me and just repeat this prayer and say, Dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I ask you to wash me and cleanse me in your blood. 
Come into my heart and save me. I believe you died for me, Jesus, to give me eternal life. I receive you now, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for dying for me. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. The angels are rejoicing and we're rejoicing. Go ahead and write us a letter. Let us know if Jesus Christ has just saved you. Now, if you have a praise report or you have a prayer need and you would like to let us know, you can send it on the website, Heartbelt Corner, um, 10 at gmail.com, or you can put it in the mail, you know, or you can place it right here on the YouTube or on Facebook. Don't put it anywhere else. I probably won't see it. Okay. But, you know, we're happy. The Lord is happy. You've made the most important decision of your life. Nothing else matters. I'm going to tell you right now, things are changing and they're moving quickly. You know, God takes his time, but he's, he's moving, okay? And he's warning people. He's trying to get our attention. But the question is, are we listening? You know, our government's not listening. We're, 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 we're not even paying attention to what is going on. These signs are the times. It's happening right now. And, and, and it's sad because a lot of the Christians aren't even paying attention. Lukewarm churches, they think I'm crazy. They don't want to hear this type of word. You know, but, you know, I have to obey the Lord and do what the Lord is asking me to do. Because I'm going to answer to Him. I don't answer to you or anyone else. I answer to the Lord. And that goes for you. You know, if you have a neighbor or you're a friend that needs salvation and God's nudging your heart, be obedient. Do it. Let them know about Jesus, because that's what this is about. It's about sharing the gospel with others. You know, if you've just come to the Lord, you know, maybe God wants to train you up so that you can share the gospel with others. If you're not a subscriber on our website, go ahead and subscribe. Let us help you. Let us mentor you and help you in your walk with the Lord. You know, if you want to receive notifications and know when I'm live on here, you can hit the, the button up in the right-hand corner, and I'll let you know when I'm going to be on here live, okay? But God has told me he's getting ready to move. Now, I don't know when. I'm not going to give you a time because I don't know. But he wants you and I to be ready. Watch. Remember I talked about that. Be alert. Awake. We need to be aware of our surroundings and what's going on around us. Don't be going into big crowds either. I wouldn't suggest you doing that. Okay? I Make sure you pray and ask God before you go anywhere. It's so important saying, now I don't know when this fire thing is going to happen, but I don't believe it's just in California. I believe it's all over. We're going to see major disasters everywhere. Okay? I'm not going to sit there and say, blessing, blessing, blessing. No. I believe... God has blessed America. God has blessed our nation. Okay. But what it is, what we want more. Give me more of this. Give me more of that. We're not thankful. And we need to start praising God and thanking Him for what God has given us. No matter if it's good or bad, we need to thank God. Let's pray. Let's pray for all of us in our nation. Let's pray. Father, we just come together as a body of believers, Lord. We lift up America right now. Father, you see all that's happening, Lord, and what is getting ready to take place, Lord. We're not going to worry, Lord. We know that you're in control, Lord. Father, I pray for President Donald Trump, Lord. Father, I lift him up, Lord. I lift up Vice President Mike Pence and the administration, Lord. I pray for wisdom, direction, and guidance, Lord. That strength for, for our president to be a strong leader in the days ahead, Lord. Father, I ask that you would help him, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that they would... I've given warnings, Lord, that they're going to hear what, what's getting ready to take place, Lord, and that they're going to receive it in their spirit. They're going to sense your spirit, Lord. It's not me, Lord, but they're going to sense your spirit, Lord, and that you're going to, to be with our nation, Lord, that we're going to turn our hearts and lives back to you, Lord. We pray for a mighty revival right now. In Jesus' name, mighty revival that will sweep across our nation like never before, Lord. We want to see souls coming to Christ, Lord. Father, we also pray for those in California, Lord. I don't know if the, when those fires are going to happen, but I heard you, Lord. You said you're gonna put, you're gonna set them on fire over there in California. They're already seeing wildfire, and I don't believe it's just California, Lord. We're gonna see things all over, Lord. I pray, God, that you keep us all safe where you have us, Lord. And Father, if you're moving us, Lord, let us know, Father. Open up our ears, Father, that we may hear your voice clearly, Lord. 
and be led by your spirit, Lord. Not led by our flesh, our mind, our fears, Lord, but be led by you in these final days, Lord. These are the last days. We know you're about to move. A huge shaking is coming, Lord, and we're not going to be afraid, Lord, but we trust in you, Lord. Father, I ask that you help us to be strong, Lord. Strong, Father, so that we can help others in these final days, Lord. And I'm asking you to make me a strong leader, Lord, because I'm going to need your help, Lord. We're going to go through personal Execution, all of us will, Lord. I ask you to help us, Lord. Lord, to stand boldly for you, Lord. To preach this word boldly, Lord. And do what you're asking us to do, Lord. Not to cower and be afraid of man, Lord. Because we're not answering to man, Lord. We're answering to you, Jesus. So I ask you for your strength and your boldness, Lord. To go forth, Lord. And do what you're asking us to do. These are the final days and the hours, Lord. We believe, Lord, you're about to move, Lord. Father, I pray for all those that are on here that are listening to me, Lord. That are listening, Lord. I thank you for them, Lord. Thank you for the body of believers that are listening to me, Lord. I ask you to bless them, Lord. Bless them and watch over them, Lord. Take away all worries. Take away all fears, Lord. Help them to look to you and not to man, Lord. Because we can't look to man. We can't look to our mayor, our president, governor, Lord, our spouse. Lord, all we can do is look to you, Jesus. I pray that you would help them to be strong in you, Lord. That they will be strong, Lord. Stand up like a strong tower, Lord. They'll be able to handle what's getting ready to come our way, Lord. Because we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us, Lord. We can do all things, Lord. With you, we can do all things. Apart from you, we can do nothing, Lord. You are our strength. We look to you. We depend upon you, Lord. We can't make it without you, Lord. You are what helps us, Lord. And I know the days are not going to be easy, Lord. We're going to go through even more. Lord. This is just the beginning, Lord. You're about to shake things up, Lord. You're about to shake things up, Lord. But, Lord, we can do it with you, Lord, but not without you, Lord. So I ask you to help us, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. I pray for those right now on here, Lord, in the sick and body, Lord. I speak healing over them right now in Jesus' name to be healed from the top of their heads and soles of their feet, whatever their sickness is. Be healed in Jesus' name, whatever they're going through, Lord. I ask you to help them, Lord. But I come against that spirit of depression, discouragement, Lord. And maybe they feel like they can't do what you're calling them to do. Oh, yes, they can, Lord. Yes, they can, Lord. I ask you to make them strong, Lord, that they can do what you're getting ready to call them to do, Lord. There are those you're getting ready to send out, Lord, and that, Lord, you're going to raise up, Lord, and that they're going to be strong, Lord. They're going to be bold, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your presence here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can feel your presence here right now, Lord. I just thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. Praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here. The Holy Spirit is here. I can feel my hands are shaking. God is here. Keep going, saints. Keep going. We're almost there. God's about to do something. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. God is in control. God is in control. We don't need to be afraid. We just got to be obedient. We got to step forward and do what he's asking us to. You know, there are times, because I said, I didn't want to do this work. I'm just going to be honest with you. But I feel if I don't do it, he's going to hold me accountable. I and mean, I could just sit back and not say anything. But, you know, that God won't leave me alone. If he wants you to do something, you, you know what I'm talking about. He won't leave you alone until you do it. So we have got to be obedient to the Lord in these last days. Because we're answering to him, our master. And we're going to stand before him. And don't you want Jesus to be proud of you? I know I do. When I see my father, I want to say, well done, my good and faithful daughter. And that's what he's going to say to you. Well done, my good and faithful sons and daughters. Let's finish this race. You know, we're not done yet. We've got to run the race. We've got to finish it. We've got to be bold. But we've got to keep going. Remember I told you, my girlfriend's a cheerleader. She's always cheering them on. So I'm cheering you on. We've got to keep going. We ain't giving up. We've got to keep going. Jesus ain't here yet. We got we, we gotta keep running this race till Jesus gets us out of here. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to share that word. Pray about it. Pray about it. Tell me what if God's saying so, something to you. Comment. Let me know. I'd like to hear. You know, I I I, don't, I know I'm not going crazy. I'm gonna tell you right now. I know God's talking to me because I'm seeing it. Put things in order. Okay. So let me know what he's saying to you. All right, I think that's it. If I don't come back tomorrow or anytime soon, 
I mean, I'll be back whenever God gives me another word, you know, because I don't want to make videos unless the Holy Spirit is putting something on my heart to say to you. All right. We love you. We appreciate you. And we appreciate you helping in our ministry. Those that are giving, thank you from the bottom of my heart and Daniel's heart. We appreciate it. And thank you for your prayers. Keep praying, saints. All right. Until we meet again, this is Prophet is Donna White, Sermon of the Lord with Donna's Heart Book Corner. God bless you. Have a safe and blessed day. Friday. Talk to you soon.